Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Morning guys, Dale here. How's it going? Uh, today I have a brand new Acer Swift 3 14 inch laptop. I'm going to do a little upgrading on it. It's a brand new laptop. Just took it out of the box. Um, give you a quick overview. Like I said, it's a 14 inch. It has a full 1080p 1920 by 1080 IPS display anti-glare screen. Uh, ships, this model ships from the factory with 4 gigabytes of DDR4 on board and 128 gigabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, has some other features like a fingerprint scanner. It's got real nice polished beveled edges around the mouse pad or the touch pad and the perimeter and even on the lid as well. Uh, it's not a bad little laptop. It's very thin, very light. Comes in just a hair over three pounds. It has, of course, your power cord, HDMI, two uh, A-type USB 3.1, a C-type USB 3.1, and a headphone jack for earbuds. A uh, nice nano edge for your display. It's got a really nice looking display. Over on this side, you have a USB 2.0 port, an SD card reader, and your um, power light and your charge light. But I'm going to do a little upgrading on it today. We're going to go ahead. Now this model has uh, an available one expansion slot for memory underneath. So we're going to open it up and we're going to upgrade. We're going to put an, I'm going to put another eight gigabyte stick in it, bumping up to 12. That's what the customer wants. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to take the 128 MBM, MBME SSD out. <clears throat> and I'm going to put in a Western Digital 250 gig NVMe drive. And here's our stick of RAM. Here's the basic specs on the computer. The exact model of this Swift 3 is an SF314-41-R3M0. Uh, so, just wanted to give you a quick overview of the laptop. And let's go ahead and check real quick here. Go to system. You can see it. We got four gigabytes of RAM. It's got the AMD Ryzen 5 3500U uh, CPU in it. It's got the Vega 8, Radeon Vega 8 graphics. So these, these, these Ryzen 3s and 5s, they, they do pretty well, even some light gaming. Not too bad. But it is a 14 inch, doesn't have the keypad, the number pad on the side, but they do have it built into the keyboard with your numlock key. So if you do a lot of number crunching, you should be able to still do that. So next step is I'm going to flip it over and we're going to go ahead and open it up. All right, everybody. I already took all the screws out of the bottom. I didn't want to bore you with that. There's nine screws. Um, these four screws along the front are a different length. They're real short. And these screws here are all the same length, so you don't want to get them mixed up, obviously. The tools you're going to need... Mainly to get these screws out, you're going to need a Torx driver, a, a T6 Torx bit or a Torx driver. It's a T6 is the size because they're not Phillips. Then you're going to need a little spudger tool like this of some sort to get into the in the very narrow little seam here to get this bottom pan off. So don't use a metal screwdriver in there because you'll end up boogering it all up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the bottom pan. Like I said, I've taken out the screws. So I'm just going to start over here on the side. You can see it comes off pretty good. I'm going to carefully lift it off. All right. Before we touch anything in here, though, I want to disconnect the battery connector, which is right here on the motherboard, because I have to remove this metal cover over here. That's where our empty RAM slot is. And I'm going to put, like I said, a new 8 gig stick of DDR4 2400 RAM in there. But first, I'm going to disconnect the battery here. I'm using a little plastic tool here. Just to unplug the battery from the motherboard. Just be careful. There, it's disconnected. And even after I do that, I like to open it up and just hit the power button, hold it for a few seconds, discharge everything. Because if you're in here and you accidentally drop this on the motherboard, you don't want to show anything out. Now, before I do this over here, though, I just want to show you on this, on this, um, 
model here on the Swift model. There is a, there's a two and a half inch bay over here that you can actually buy a mounting kit to put a two and a half inch drive in here. Um, you can get them on Acer's website. I'll put a link down below where you can get this mounting kit. It doesn't come with the laptop. Some of the new, like Aspire Fives, they ship with that mounting kit. But this one you have to buy separately. You can probably get it other places too. But Acer has it on their website to buy. It's like eight ten bucks, and the the cable will connect right here to the motherboard for a two and a half inch, either a regular. If you want to put extra storage, a two and a half inch mechanical drive or another solid state drive, it don't matter. But that's what that empty spot is for. So, but now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to remove this cover. You need a very thin, small little tool to get underneath here to pop this up. Oop, just like that. And there's our empty bay. So I'm going to put, or empty slot, I'm going to put this, stick a DDR4 8 gigabytes. I'm going to put the cover back on. And you got to be careful, you got to line it up in these little clips they have along the sides here. You gotta be very careful, it only goes one way. There, so we have that back on. Now I'm gonna leave I'm gonna go ahead. Um, actually I'm gonna leave the battery disconnected for right now. I'm gonna flip it open here. I'm gonna actually turn it on with the extra RAM and then I am gonna go ahead and plug in the power cord. Just, I just want to post it, boot it up real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button here. Being careful and mindful that it's open. So it's going to boot up here into Windows. I just want to show you because it had four gigs on board. Over here, oops. Gonna go to system. So now you can see here, you got 12 gigabytes of RAM. It was four, and now it's 12 gigabytes. All right. So I just want to make sure. Now on some of these models, when they ship from the factory with onboard memory, and you add another eight or 16 gig stick. And you turn it on the for, turn it on for the first time on these Acer Swifts and even the Aspire 5 models. A lot of them, when you turn it on the first time, the screen will just stay black for a long time. I'd wait. A, I'd turn it on and wait about a minute because the BIOS is trying to read the speed of the memory. It'll take a minute. If nothing comes up, if it won't post after about a minute, just go ahead and hold in the power button for about three or four seconds, force it off, then turn it back on, and you should be good to go. So don't panic if it don't post the first time. So I've got it disconnected and our battery is still disconnected. Now I'm also going to do this NVMe upgrade here. Now it currently has Windows on it, you know, the factory, you know, the factory install and it's not quite up to date, but in this case I'm going to do a clean install of Windows 10. That's what the customer wants and we're just going to do a fresh clean install, the latest version of Windows 10 on the bigger SSD. Here. I'm not going to clone it. So we're going to... Carefully get down here, remove this one Phillips screw, little tiny screw right here to get the SSD out. We got our RAM in. So we're gonna carefully pull this out and put in our new bigger one. Just like that. <clears throat> Take your time with these screws. So there, we got our extra eight gigs of RAM, a total of 12. We got the new NVMe drive in here. This can be any size. In this case, it's a 250. You could put a one terabyte, two terabyte, 500, whatever you want. And if you end up ordering that kit to put in an extra drive, that'll give you even more storage over here. So now I'm gonna reconnect our battery very carefully here. Now that we're done with our poking and prodding around in here. Just don't force this. Again, you always use plastic tools when you're poking around on these motherboards. Just like that. Put the bottom pan back on. Get over here where I can reach it. It's 
snap it back together. Like I said, I'm going to do a fresh install on this Acer Swift 3. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Uh, comments are always welcome. I'm going to put the screws back in. Like I said, these four screws along the front here are very small and short, and the rest of these screws are all the same size, so don't get them mixed up. Um, that's pretty much it on this video. Do my clean and saw, and we'll be good to go. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.